model that uh, we've developed, and we've applied it to a study of a 50-story, hypothetical 50-story building uh, with 7,800 people in the building. And we're looking at four different evacuation strategies. And the question is, what is the optimal strategy to empty this building as quickly as possible? The building uh, has uh, 32 uh, elevator cars in banks of uh, eight, uh, four banks of eight. Uh, there are also four stairs, four staircases in the building. Uh, the elevator attributes are based on the SIPSI guide D, so we have all the acceleration jerk and, and so on uh, uh, properties of the elevators, the opening and uh, closing time for the doors, uh, and so on. Um, what you see here is what it looks like in the evacuation model. Uh, on the left side, you have the usual two-dimensional view inside Exodus, and on the right-hand side, you see the three-dimensional elevator view inside Exodus as well. This is inside the software, not post-process. And the range of scenarios that we're going to look at, in the first instance, I'm going to talk about five scenarios. So how long does it take to evacuate this building using stairs alone? How long would it take to use 8, 16, 24, and 32 elevators, where each elevator visits each floor from top down? So we're doing a top-down evacuation, elevator visits every single floor. Here is the uh, example in the Exodus software running the simulation. So this is a 50-story building, this is a 32-car simulation, there's about 8,000 people in the building, and each elevator, you can see the four banks of elevators, you can see the cars going up and emptying the people. The cars are moving, the proper acceleration, jerk, start time, uh, door opening times, door closing times, all of that's built into the simulation, so you get a very realistic view. And we, and we, we, we compare those five different simulations and, and here's just an overview of, uh, of what we found. So stair only, uh, it takes 36.1 minutes to evacuate that building and as you notice with 8 and 16 elevators you're actually taking longer to evacuate than just using the stairs. It's only when you reach 24 elevators you get a time that's, that's comparable uh, to uh, stairs only and when you go to 32 elevators you get a time that beats the stairs uh, fairly dramatically, 26.3 minutes. We're also showing you here on this side the time to empty the upper half of the building because it's not simply the time to totally evacuate the building. It's also you might have uh, you might have it might be important to empty how long it takes to empty the top half of the building. So you need to take that into consideration as well. And you can see the times involved there with the stairs only 20.9 minutes. And it's not until you get to about 24 elevators that you get a time that just beats the, uh, the stairs only. Now this is a really interesting thing. It's not just the total evacuation time either. You need to see uh, the time it takes to evacuate the different numbers of people throughout the building. And as you can see here, this is the stair only case. The stair only case um, is actually faster than 24 elevators for virtually the entire uh, evacuation. Only the tail end of the people in the building that actually take longer than 24 cars. It's only when you get 32 uh, cars working simultaneously that you get a much faster evacuation and stairs throughout the evacuation process. Okay, so then we moved on to looking at different uh, staging types of evacuation. We looked at uh, shuffling, we looked at where the top half of the building uses the elevator and the bottom half of the building uses stairs. We looked at a situation where the top half of the building is evacuated all the way to the ground uh, and the bottom half of the building has to use the stairs. The top half of the building is evacuated by elevator to the middle of the building and then they have to use the stairs. Uh, we looked at... Uh, um, uh, shuttle zones and we looked at sky lobbies. And the last case, scenario 11, we're looking at four sky lobbies, each uh, bank of elevator addressing each sky lobby. And when we compare these cases, we get some very interesting results. Um, it's important to note here that with 32 elevators, uh, where the stairs, uh, um, uh, um, the top half of the building is evacuated to the middle half, and then the, the, uh, the people have to use the stairs to go down the rest of the way, you get uh, 35.2 minutes for the total evacuation time, which is worse than just the stairs, or about the same as the stairs. But the interesting thing is it gives you a very, very fast time to evacuate the upper half of the building. So this is a great strategy if you have to empty the upper half of the building, and it's not so bad about how, it's not so important about the total evacuation time. Looking at these two strategies, uh, scenario 6 and scenario 11, uh, scenario 6 where we have um, the, uh, um, the top 
half, the top half of the building are evacuated all the way to the ground, and the rest of the people use the stairs, you get an evacuation time, the best evacuation time, 18.1 minutes, and 14.9 minutes to evacuate the upper half. Scenario 11, where we use four sky lobbies and a bank of elevators are used to evacuate each sky lobby, you get slightly longer evacuation time, almost the same, 18.2 minutes, so it's almost the same, but it takes you considerably longer, it appears, to empty the upper half of the building. Here again, when you look at the results for the total evacuation, you see a slightly different story emerging. So again, it's not only the total evacuation time you need to look at, you need to look at these curves. This curve is showing us that the uh, four sky lobbies give you a much better evacuation throughout the history of the evacuations. Only at the very end, it's picked by that scenario S6. Okay, so the four sky lobbies and a, a bank of elevators evacuating each lobby gives you the best overall performance. Okay, to conclude this then, an elevator model has been developed for building exodus. The model considers both mechanical and human factors. The human factors component is being refined through this questionnaire and study that we have of evacuation behaviour. We're hoping to understand the decisions that people make in, uh, in potentially using elevators for evacuation, and that information will feed into this human decision model that we have in, in Exodus. The model analysis suggests that a 50-storey building with 32 elevators and four staircases, evacuation times can be reduced by 50% compared to the stair-only case through the implementation of appropriate elevator strategies. However, the evacuation strategies have a, a multiple set of objectives. So it's important to prioritise, this is what Norman was talking about, it's important to prioritise the objectives as this can lead to very different elevator strategies to, to empty a building. So for example, if clearing the top half of the building has a higher priority than the total evacuation time for the building, then you want to adopt the strategy S7 we have. If, however, um, you want to clear the entire building as quickly as possible, then scenario S11 is what you've got to use to empty the entire building in the minimum amount of time. Also interesting to look at some of these comparisons between these other strategies. 32 elevators visiting each floor uh, is required to outperform the stair-only case. Four shuttle zones is better than all elevators visiting every floor. It's a total evacuation time of 23.9 compared to 26.3. Four shuttle zones plus the bottom zone using the stairs only uh, is better than the four shuttle zones. And finally, the four sky lobbies is better than four shuttle zones where the bottom half, uh, where, where, where the bottom zone uses the stairs. So it depends on what it is you're trying to achieve, you, you use your strategy. And this is where computer simulation can help you. It can tell you how long it's going to take to do implement various strategies. And so you can have all these things predefined and uh, almost in, a, in an expert system type of arrangement. And, and the, depending on what scenario you've got, you can pick the most appropriate uh, strategy to implement for your evacuation. Finally, um, I just want to remind everyone that we'd really like uh, people to fill in this questionnaire. Uh, it's really important though, we, we, we're kind of interested in what fire engineers just have to say, but not really, because you're fire engineers and you're doing this stuff, you're thinking about this all the time. We want regular punters, regular people. So as Mike said, your friends, your family, people who you work in high-rise buildings. Also, we're just the people who actually work and live in high buildings, not simply five-story buildings, right? People who face this sort of decision every day. So people who work and live in high-rise buildings, we're very interested in getting you to fill this questionnaire in. Um, part of the questionnaire asks you for your profession, so fire engineers, fill it in by all means and we'll just filter you out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> analysis. Thank you very much.